Hello again Guardians and welcome back to the channel for another Destiny content related video on the Rise of Run expansion. In today's video I'm going to be showing you a detailed step by step guide on all 30 locations for the SIVA clusters inside of Destiny so you can complete your record book for the Iron Lords and also just complete your Grimoire score all together. So let's move on to all 30 locations including the raid locations. Clovis Bray 1.4 is the first one you can find, and it's right where the spawn is from the Iron Tomb's mission or the Plague Lands Patrol. You're going to jump down, go off to the right, find some SIVA wiring, and it will be right there. Clovis Bray 1.1 is going to be a little harder to find, and when you're going towards the Archon's Forge and you get to the Giant Husk, stay right. You'll be able to find a little ship that's wrecked. On that ship will be the SIVA Cluster. Clovis Bray 1.0 is actually going to be found in the Archon's Forge. So when you're at the Archon's Forge, you're going to then go over to the left door, and there will be a SIVA cluster. Clovis Bray 1.2 is in the exact same room with the generators where you have to swap out the two orbs. You're going to go on to the right side of the room when you go into the room, and there will be hanging on the pile of SIVA nodes. Iron Lords 2.8 is in the room where you go down the tunnel and you fall down into the computer room. It's going to be behind one of the monitors next to the main computer. Iron Lords 2.6 is where you fall down into the big pit before you get to the Iron Lords tomb. You're going to want to follow the path behind you all the way down until you get down to a cave. Inside that cave will be the location of the SIVA cluster. Iron Lords 2.7 is in the final boss room. What you're going to want to do is go to the left far SIVA pillar. You're going to want to go around it, and then on the back end of it will be the SIVA cluster. Then you can go to orbit. From orbit, you will load into the Walls Come Down story mission. Clovis Bray 1.9 is actually to the right of where you spawn into this mission. Go on to the Fallen Catch, go left, go up the stairs, and towards the left will be the Clovis Bray 1.9. Clovis Bray 1.3 is found at the beginning of the story mission as well. You're going to want to go right where the doorway to the wall is, except for this time, fall down, and right behind one of the beams is going to be the cluster. Iron Lords 2.0 is when you enter the Divide, and is actually on the Fallen Walker tank right underneath the main gun. Iron Lords 2.1 is in the back of the Divide, over on the right hand side, depending on where you're going from where the mission spits you out at. Now you're going to go over by the broken down bridge, jump on the metal tube, and it will be in the crack of the broken down bridge. Iron Lords 2.2 is going to be in Dock 13, so we're going to go past the walker tank back into the building over on the left hand side. You're going to go through all the way back to the room where you would have obtained your first ship in the game. Then, over on the left, it will be next to the door. Clovis Bray 1.7 is in the Rocket Yard. If you follow the mission's path, go past the hole in the wall and follow left. If you do this, you will then fall down off a ledge and there will be a door on your left hand side. Go through the door and it will be on your right. Then follow out through the door like you would be doing the Devil's Lair Strike to continue on with the next cluster. These next three can be obtained in the patrol or the mission plague lands. So what you're going to want to do is go to the Iron Lords 2.5 cluster, which is going to be going towards the Devil Lair's fight. You go down the huge staircase and over on your left will be a hive cedar construction. Go into the construction, go around the totem, and there's the cluster. Iron Lords 2.4 is going to be located on the left side of where the walker tank would spawn in the Devil's Lair Strike. Use a splicer key to open up the pathway, go upstairs to the left, inside of a locker is going to be the SIVA Cluster. Iron Lords 2.3 is going to be located on the right side of the walker tank. If you go towards the back on the right side, you're going to be able to turn around and it will be on a beam up high. Next, load the Plague Lands mission if you aren't already in it. Now, the next Clovis Bray Cluster 1.5 is located in Bunker Treeglove. Go into the satellite tower behind the monitor to the left is going to have the fragment. 
Ovis Bray 1.8 is at the very end of the mission on the far right gun. It's on the gun itself. Now note, in the patrol of the Plague Lands, you can get here, but you will need a splicer key to access this area. Next, you want to load into the very first mission, King of the Mountain Top. And then once you fall off the gondola, you will then fall off the edge of the cliff towards the right, and there's Iron Lords 2.9. Fallen 3.0 is going to be located on the tower of Fellwinter's Peak. Now, how to get here is you're going to be on the final boss battle facing Sepex Perfected, and in the second wave of skiffs, the one on the right side, you're going to jump on that skiff. Soon, that skiff will then pull in front of the tower. If you jump onto the tower, you will notice the SIVA cluster up on top. Next, load into download complete story mission. At the very end of the mission, Fallen 3.2 is going to be found in the final room. You're going to go to the right side of the room on the terminal different console thing, jump on top, and behind one of the monitors is the cluster. Next, head to the Iron Temple. This jumping puzzle at the very top of the mountain is going to be Fallen 3.1. If you haven't done the jumping puzzle yet, or you want to know how to or where to jump, please click on the annotation at the top right of the screen to go to my detailed guide and review on how to get to the very top of the mountain. Other than that, let's move to the rest of the clusters. Next up, load up the Wretched Eye Strike, and in the Bunker Tree Glove, Clovis Bray 1.6 is located in the Hangar Bay 1.0. You're going to climb on either the left side of the room or the right side of the room, get to the very top, and the thing hanging down from the ceiling will have the fragment or the cluster on the one side of it. Fallen 3.3 can be found in the silo chambers in the second half of the strike. When you go from chamber 1, fall down, and then go right to chamber 3. Inside of chamber 3, the rocket in the middle, you can jump on that rocket the second level. Inside the shipping container, it's on the ceiling. SIVA Cluster Fallen 3.4 is a little harder. You're going to jump down from 3.3's location, go into silo number 2, then go into silo number 4. A rocket is going to be sitting in silo number 4 that you can climb all the way up onto the very top to where you can notice some platforms on the outer ring of the room. These platforms, if you jump on and work your way across the room, will get you to the SIVA Cluster. They do fall down, so if you don't manage to make the actual platform jumps, that means that you will have to do the jumping puzzle on the side of the wall next to the starting of the rocket. These platforms are a little harder to maneuver around, but in an alcove at the very top of these platforms is the SIVA cluster. Next, you will have to load up Sepik's perfected new strike, the New Devil's Lair Strike Remastered. Fallen 3.5 is located in the back end of the room after the boss fight on the left hand side. There's going to be a door and next to that door is a grate. Underneath the grate will be the location of the SIVA cluster. Now Guardians, go into the raid for the last four. Fallen 3.8 will be at the end of the very first jumping puzzle. What you're going to want to do is enter the raid, go on to the jumping puzzle all the way to the end, and then go down to the very bottom platform and keep going beyond the actual entrance into the raid. What you're then going to want to do is get to the wall. Then jump off to the right onto the higher platform. Then jump off to the left to the even higher platform than that, and there will be the SIVA cluster. Fallen 3.9 is in the second jumping puzzle, and what you're going to want to do is go to the very first hidden chest location inside of this jumping puzzle, and then grab the chest. Once you're exiting out of the location of that chest, you will then continue on with the jumping puzzle, but you will notice off to your left, there is going to be a grate. That grate on top of the venting system is going to be the SIVA cluster. Fallen 3.7 is very easy. Once you've fallen off of the wall after the Death Trap Zamboni, you will then land on this little rock platform. Go off to the right, go around the rocks, and you will see the SIVA cluster hidden in a little alcove.
Bolin 3.6 and the final one in this raid is going to be located in the maze room. You're then going to find a little bridge. You're going to jump down off the edge once you've seen this little platform. Jump across the three platforms and it will be on the last one. There you have it Guardians, that is all 30 locations of all the SIVA clusters inside of the game of Destiny because of the Rise of Iron Expansion. I hope this video helped you guys, and if it did, please drop a like, leave a comment down below, and again, subscribe for daily Destiny content. And like always Guardians, I will see you all, Starside, in the next video.